What comes to mind when we think of a cemetery? A cold, lonely, utilitarian place with tombstones set in the ground to make it easy to run a lawnmower over? A place associated with deep sadness? A place to be avoided? That was not always the case. In fact, for a cemetery like Woodlawn, the opposite was true. Woodlawn challenges our modern ideas of what a cemetery really is, where it was created not only for the dead, but for the living as well. Woodlawn started as a modest family burying ground, beginning with the internment of Joseph Hamilton in 1875. Three years later, the population increased exponentially when graves from the old Presbyterian Church Cemetery on Adams Street in downtown Fairmont were moved to the present site. From 1878 to 1879, the cemetery was expanded and eventually incorporated on December 16, 1885. It's at this point that the origins of Woodlawn become even more interesting. Its beginnings can be traced to an emergent movement contemporary to early 19th century America. In that time, there was a call for reform in the interest of public welfare. Abolition was becoming topical in tandem with reconsideration of the prison and asylum systems. One expression of that voice was the development of public spaces shifted towards the recreational interest of the middle and upper classes, a means by which they could escape the steadily expanding urban centers often sponsoring the unsavory atmosphere that accompanied industrial progress. The founding of Mount Auburn Cemetery in Cambridge, Massachusetts in 1831 resulted in a space that people would visit, spend time in, and enjoy. What followed was a deliberate national trend of cemeteries, one that ultimately affected Woodlawn, the rural cemetery movement, which emerged with an ambition of developing burial grounds in the manner of a public park. While Woodlawn began as a place for the dead, it at some point began to turn the harsh reality of death into a beautiful representation of life. Works of funerary art are strewn throughout the cemetery. One can follow a timeline showcasing the ever-changing views of death by strolling through the curving lanes of the cemetery. From simple markers of the mid-1800s to elaborate obelisks straining to meet the sky, Woodlawn is a museum of history set in the backdrop of nature. The cemetery contains a vast network of paths designed to instill a traveler with a sense of awe in the face of the site's natural beauty and architecture. Veritable veins pulsing life through the necropolis, each road leads to a destination, be it the abbey, the chapel, or one of the ornate mausoleums dotting the property. Landscape artist Tell Nicolette of Pittsburgh designed these sections. Nicolette, who was also involved in the designing of Camp David, wanted the cemetery to have a naturalistic park-like feel, even as it overlooked downtown Fairmont. Paved drives were designed to conform to the contours of the land. The drives curve over the rolling hills, and not a single drive is placed symmetrically, making each one uniquely patterned. The lots include benches of wood, stone, and iron that provide resting spots under evergreen and deciduous trees. Different trends of architecture and art, reflecting their respective eras, appear throughout the landscape of Woodlawn. For example, the Gano Mausoleum was built for Lloyd B. Gano and his wife Charlotte and is an excellent example of the Art Deco style. And then there is the chapel. Constructed in 1929, the structure served not only as a chapel, but as a funeral parlor and to house offices for the cemetery. 
It was built using the local Hammond Fire Brick Company bricks that were made from clay from the Tigert River. At the top of the cemetery sits the Abbey, in many ways the crown jewel of Woodlawn. Built in 1929 in Egyptian Revival style, it was constructed from massive blocks of gray barre granite. Also designed by Tell William Nicolet, the structure has 200 crypts and 10 stained glass windows, as well as stained glass skylights, currently under repair. There are a number of significant historical figures buried at Woodlawn, including governors, senators, professional ball players, prominent businessmen, and the father of West Virginia and the governor of the restored state of Virginia, Francis Pierpont. Woodlawn Cemetery is a physical representation of our cultural relationship with death. But most importantly, it is a time capsule reminding us of when death was a celebration of life. It's a place that deserves to be remembered and preserved because Woodlawn Cemetery would be historically significant even if there weren't so many historical figures buried there. When you do visit Woodlawn, remember, this entire space was designed to say to you, welcome, rest, enjoy. <laughs>